Ever wondered which Philip Reef fight is truly the best of the best? Let's find out as we take a look at his top 15 fight scenes. From cinematic showdowns to heart-pounding battles, Philip Ree is one of the most underrated martial arts heroes in film history. What do you want from me? Welcome to Double Reel. Kicking off our list at number 15 is the store fight from Best of the Best 4. Philip Ree takes on two armed Russian mobsters, trying to save his friend's daughter in this brutal store fight. Choreographically, this scene combines martial arts with disarmament techniques, showcasing Tommy's ability to think on his feet. The fight choreography is good, as Tommy neutralizes his armed opponents. At number 14 is a scene from Best of the Best 3. When Tommy comes to the rescue of schoolteacher Margot Preston, played by Gina Gershon, when a group of thugs attempt to assault her at her home. The choreography focuses on Tommy's ability to quickly neutralize the assailants with swift and precise movements. Wide shots allow us to see Tommy taking down the attackers with efficiency and speed, making this a memorable fight. At number 13 is the scene from Best of the Best 2 where Tommy faces the hammer. Set in the underground Coliseum, this is Tommy's first of four fights. The fight is shot in a way that builds tension, with wide angles used on this quick fight. At number 12, we have the nightclub fight from Best 2, where Tommy throws the first punch at Brachus, scarring his face and igniting one of the film's key rivalries. After Tommy lands the brutal punch that scars Brachus, security is called in to deal with Tommy and Alex. Where'd you get the hat? It was left to me in a will. The choreography here is quick and aggressive, with Tommy throwing the casino security guards around like rag dolls. The choreography is sleek, and the camera uses medium to wide shots to showcase the scuffle between Tommy and the security I team. Get the car. <laughs> At number 11 is the iconic Colosseum battle, where Tommy Lee faces off against the Greek powerhouse Stavros in a classic match of wrestling versus Taekwondo. Wide shots are used to highlight both fighters' moves, while close-ups emphasize the intensity of each exchange. The camera also lingers on the Colosseum's brutal environment, adding to the sense of danger. <laughs> Number 10, we have Tommy Lee competing in the US qualifiers. This scene gives us our first glimpse into Tommy's martial arts ability as he fights for a spot on the US karate team. It's all about technique, precision, and clean hits. At number 9 is the scene from Best of the Best 2, where Tommy and his friend Alex find themselves attacked by Brachus's henchmen at their home. The choreography is fast and brutal. The fight is shot using mostly medium and close-up angles, emphasizing the action. <laughs> Next up, we have a classic bar brawl, where the US team, including Tommy, faces off against a group of guys in an all-out brawl. Ree's movements are fast and precise, but with a rawness that reflects the chaotic setting, the use of wide shots allows us to see Tommy taking on his opponents. As we get closer to the top of our list, we come to Tommy's showdown with Khan in Best 2. The fight blends traditional martial arts with weapons combat, making it one of the more technical battles in the series. Wide shots are used to emphasize the movements of both fighters, while the camera follows Tommy closely as he evades and counters Khan's attacks, heightening the tension with every dodge and parry. <laughs> at number 6 we have the fight against masked thugs at the local ice cream shop, a moment where Tommy shows just how swift and tactical he can be. This fight occurs early in Best of the Best 3 and sets the tone for the rest of the movie. The choreography here is fast and brutal, with Tommy quickly neutralizing each attacker with precision strikes. Ree's movements are sharp, with each kick and punch feeling purposeful and deadly. Next, we have Tommy defending a teacher from a group of thugs in Best 3, and what follows is an intense and fast-paced sequence that sees Philip Ree at his best. 
Tommy delivers swift and precise strikes, blending hand-to-hand -hand combat with knife disarmament techniques. The fight choreography is good, and the combination of Ree's speed, agility, and lethal precision makes this fight one of the film's standout moments. The use of wide shots shows the fight in all its glory, with a colorful background clashing against the brutal action happening in the foreground. Who the hell are you, boy? Homie, the killer clown. At number four is a scene from Best Four, where Tommy takes on multiple attackers in a dojo, showcasing his versatility in hand-to-hand -hand combat and weapons. Surrounded by multiple attackers, Tommy has to defend himself using both his fist and various weapons. The choreography is intricate, blending traditional martial arts moves with modern action choreography. The fight includes a mix of high-flying kicks, precise punches, and intense weapon choreography. The camera captures the fluidity of the fight with sweeping wide shots that show the full scope of the fight. Breaking into the top three is the scene from Best of the Best 3, where Tommy goes head-to-head -to -head with the leader of the gang in one of the film's most intense one-on-one -on -one fights. The fight choreography in this scene is more raw and gritty compared to previous fights. The fight is shot with a combination of wide and close-up angles. Wide shots allow us to see Tommy's precise movements, while close-ups capture the intensity on his face and the raw brutality of the hand-to-hand -hand combat. Coming in at number two, we have the showdown from Best of the Best 2, where Tommy faces off against Brachus in the Coliseum. The choreography is a masterclass in combat, with both men exchanging blows with their hands, feet, and weapons. Making this one of the most visually thrilling fights in the series. And finally, at number one, we have the legendary final fight from Best of the Best, where Tommy faces off against Day Han. This spectacular aerial display is the trademark of classical taekwondo. The fight is carefully choreographed to highlight both fighters' skills, making each strike feel impactful and meaningful. The camera work here is brilliant, with close-up shots capturing the raw emotion, and wide shots are used to showcase the fluidity of the martial arts choreography. The fight is shot in a way that highlights both the technical skill and emotional depth of the scene, making it the perfect finale. Yeah! Grab like a toilet seat, Tommy! And there you have it, our top 15 Philip Ree fight scenes. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content.